everyone, it's Mrs. Hallway here again, and I'm going to give you another art lesson. I um, asked you to get yourself some cardboard pieces ready for this lesson. Do you remember I said that we're going to make a really cool sculpture? So this is my sculpture that I've already made, just to show you. I painted, I cut out my pieces and I've painted them and I put them all together. Oh, oh fallen to pieces there. It's obviously not meant for uh, twirling around. So I said to use an Amazon box because Amazon boxes are thick enough that they have got really good rigidity, but they're not too thick that you can't cut them out. So Alana is just cutting up the last of hers. So if you haven't already cut out your shapes, what you're going to need to do is pause the video, start cutting out your shapes, and then we can come back on again. Or maybe paint them. I have painted my shapes. So if you want to paint yours as well, that's another thing to do. But what you're going to need to have is a pile of shapes, okay? You can make your shapes totally um, spherical, you can go around some sellotape, or you can go around a cup, make them smaller, see if you've got different sizes. Or you can be like Edward. Edward has done lots and lots of squares and rectangles. Or like this one that I did originally. It's just lots of sort of overly off-cutty shapes that I had left over, so I thought I'd give it a little test and see how it looked. Okay, so if you haven't got your cardboard ready, go and get it ready and then come back. All right, so hopefully you're all now ready to make a sculpture with me. Okay, so if you look at this one here, it's completely organically grown. There was no plan involved. It was very much a case of just seeing what happened, what how it looked as I put it down. And even now, when I lay it on the table, if I put it there, I can choose if I want it to be this way, or if I want it to be that way. As I was building it, it was growing and changing shape well, as I went. <laughs> so let's put that one back in there. Well, maybe it'll leave that Okay, out. but it's, it's totally up to you, it's quite fun. It's a bit like Picasso said. What did Picasso say, do you remember? Um, there's no point doing something if you know how it's going to look at the end. There you go. There's no point in doing art if you know exactly how it's going to look. It's all about the process. It's all about the, the finding out and the experimenting and seeing what happens. What happens when you put that shape there? What happens when you mix this colour with another colour? It happens when you mix that Lego. It, exactly, right. and you're, like when you'll be the master builder of your Lego, exactly. Big so, so we're going to be like Picasso and we're going to be building this sculpture from the ground up but then who knows? We might even think actually it looks better on its side. We're going to just go with it. Okay, so while you're still carrying on cutting out Alana, I'm going to get my scissors. So I've got all of my pieces here that I've just painted. They're all ready to go. Let's move the camera down. There we go, okay then. So the first thing you're going to do is to get these to join together, we need to give them a way to join, we want them to slide onto one another, okay? So we're going to give them a slit. We want this slit to be nice and small. If you make it too wide, it's not going to hold onto the card as very well. So I'm just going to go with my scissors and I'm going to snip in about that far. Can you see that? Now, right next to this snip, I'm going to do another snip, but I'm going to do it as closely as I can. because I don't want to make the gap too wide. So I'm going to do it very, very, very close to the other one. Can you see how closely I am snipping? How can I get you to see? Whoops. Can you see how much I've already started to do? It's a very tiny amount of snipping. It's going to take out a very small area of cardboard. Look at that tiny little bit that I've just snipped. I made one. Okay. Oh, Ed, did you have already made one? Well done, you. Yeah. Excellent. Let me show you. Let's see, look. This is my Edward. So he painted half of his. And his left of the side is the Amazon box. But look, can you see? He's got the idea. Well done. So just joining them together. So now I have done that. I've got my very first snip. This is going to be good enough just to slide this one in like so. That's good. But to make it even better, to give it a better bond, I'm going to do the same thing that I did to this one onto this one. So I'm going to snip up and then go across and snip up again, very slightly. It's so slight, I can just pull that end out. I don't even need to cut it out. And now, can you see these two little slits that I've got? I'm going to slide them together. And taking my time, being careful. Look at that, they're really, really joined together really well. They're nice and solid. Can you see that? It's really 
it cool, isn't it? So now this is where the fun starts. Now you know what you're doing. You are just going to make your artwork evolve. This is going to grow in front of your very eyes. And then you're going to take it in the direction that you wanted to go in. But if you decide that you don't like which way it's going, you can quite easily pull it apart and just build it back together again. This one that was here, that I built um, last week, I originally built it just with cardboard that hadn't been painted. So I pulled it all apart thinking, I wonder what it would look like if it was painted. And then I've put it back together again. And it doesn't look exactly how I made it originally, but that's fine, I'm quite happy with that. I quite like that. It's like when we go to the beach and we build a sandcastle and my children are sometimes like, oh, but mummy, it's going to get washed away. And I say, but that's fine, because that's the beauty of it. You can just come back tomorrow and build another one. So there we go, there's that sculpture there. So now I've done that, I'm just going to repeat that process. So I'm going to work out where to, I'm going to put a snip on this one, just here. I'm going in at a bit of a different angle now. And again, I'm going to go very close by, but nice and small. Get another piece of my card. Take a snip out of it. There we go. Okay, can you see that? Nice and small little snip. It's like a little mouth. Hey, I'm just going to push it onto itself on that gap. Oh, it's looking awesome. There we go. Now, sometimes they sort of fold back on themselves. Can you see that? Just tighten it up a bit. That's fine. It's good. We're getting a nice, good bond. A nice, good join. Look at this. It's looking really awesome. Do you know what I think these would look? Because they're going together so well, much better than the other one. I think maybe my first one has been pulled to pieces so many times, it's just not as strong. This one's going on really, really well. I think this, this, this would look great. You could imagine me, couldn't you, at school? If I was at school, I'd be hanging these from the ceiling. I do love hanging things up. Okay, I'm going to do another snip now on this one here. There's no right or wrong art, um, way to do this, children. Okay, these are going to turn out brilliantly because you've made them. So we're just creating, we're just, we're just making things as we go. There we go. Okay, started to get something. It stands up, it's starting to get something that supports itself. And like I said, it can support itself this way. Now you can decide how you want it to go. Now I'm thinking that if I put another one here, I might repeat this. I might repeat what I've done on this one here. So I think I'm going to do another two. So I'm gonna have one coming this way, one going that way, join it together. And I think that'll give it a good, nice base, nice solid base for it to stand on. Whoops, it's my sculpture rolling around. Yes, I've got mine all out. Roll, roll. Oh, well done, Alana. Right, so you're ready to go then, aren't you? So do it nice and nice, not too wide. If it's too wide, they won't, um, they won't be strong together. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I've done my next slit. Got my next slit. We haven't got Imogen in this video today because she's busy writing a history essay. She's been really enjoying her history work at the moment. Ooh, so, oh, I'm getting yourself a drink. Okay, good girl. Okay. So you can see now what I want to try and do now is I want to try and put two sort of supports here and here. Snip in there again. I love doing art when there's no right or wrong art. So I just I love this sort of just having a go and seeing what happens. With it. Exactly, just experimenting. It's nice making something 3D as well. I'm going to. Anyway. Okay. Mm. There we go. And then. Oh, I made a very good one. It is very good, Edward. Are you proud of that? Maybe you should make like like a piece and then get another piece and then make another piece and then 
sort of like carve them together, like make a bottom piece and then a middle piece yeah, and then a top. Yeah, definitely, make it grow as you're building it. Every so often, just keep putting it down on the table and looking at it and thinking, are you happy with the direction it's going? Would you prefer it to be a bit more like that? And there's a lot of problem solving that you're going to be doing here. You're going to be thinking, right, how do I get it to stand up? I actually don't know if I want it this long. I might want it this way. How could I do that? How can I support it? So you've got, you're constantly thinking all the time, how can you build this in a way that's going to be have a nice solid base? So let's have a little think. I think I might put another one on the end. Have a little snip. So while I'm doing making mine, you you can be making yours as well, either at home or in the classroom, depending on where you're watching this. In your garden. Go. In your garden. Yeah, right. I'm really standing up. I'm liking it. Looks this. like a sign. Ah, it looks cool. Well done. It looks like a sign on this. Yeah. So here's what we've got so far. This is this is from Edward. Now That's Edward is in year two. That's what he's managed to do. It's lovely. Is it yours, Alana? This is Alana's. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. So I'm just going to keep adding to this. Just keep going and just keep finding out what I can do. On the side, if you make it a bit too big, you don't need a flicking one, you can just flick it in because the cardboard is actually quite thin. Ah. So it does that save you some time. It does save time if you're just adding to the top. I mean, there we go. I, oh, I am loving base. this. I don't know. Maybe I need to make another base. Yeah, it's good when you've got a solid base because then you can work upwards. I think the one that I made um, that's just over there, I don't think that's got a solid enough base and so it's a bit wobbly. But that's fine, learning from my mistakes. That's, oh, I think maybe if I put one on this, whoops, okay. Yeah, she's Cheese, I oh, know it keeps falling out the door. Cheese, grub it. Cheese, grub it. Mozzarella. Not mozzarella, I think it's cheddar. No, it's cheddar cheese. Evil cheddar cheese. Oh, yay! Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving mine. Okay. So once it's on the table, you can start growing it like where it is. You don't need to keep picking it up. Exactly, like nature. It's like a plant growing, isn't it? Yes, mine stands oh. up. That's the doorbell. Come on, stand up. Stand up like a clown. Surprise, what was it? <gasps> oh, another Amazon delivery. <laughs> oh, look oh, I know what that is. That is material to make some face masks for if we ever leave this house. Right. Maybe I could crop this one there. But it needs to balance. Oh, they're coming together, aren't they? I like the sound of it as well. So it's very, it feels really satisfying when you, um, yeah. Yep. When they connect. They are definitely satisfying. It is, yeah, when they join together. Nice, satisfying connection. I think the reason maybe my first one didn't, doesn't stay up so well anymore is because when I was building it, I was building it as I went, and now I... So I was kind of making the cuts for each certain place. I don't think I've... I think when you build it a second time, it doesn't um, right. doesn't go. They don't together. Don't go together so well. Mm. 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 I put one of them under here with a 
Big fields because you've got yeah. small squares, haven't you? strongly this is a bit wobbly so I'm going to try and cut my piece to join those together so let's have a little look I think squares isn't the best shape to make this with I think it's looking great Edward so there's one the other one there Turned it over, I quite like it like this. Keep your mind up. I know. No, we'll keep it like that. It's looking good, isn't it? Right, I've still got quite a few left. I did make quite a few to begin with, so I've got a lot to go. Very last one now. No, but this is my last. I'm wondering where to put it. I think I might just put it on the top. Give it a little bit. I think they look good there. Thank you, King. Now, what are we going to do with these children? <laughs> put it in my bedroom. <laughs> Is all of my pieces now? Obviously, if you all get if you get oh, all of your pieces too. If you get to the end and you think that you could keep going, or you want to do more, you don't think it's quite it doesn't look balanced. You don't like this. I quite like. I think mine looks quite balanced. I like the way it kind of goes up in this shape. I think it's created quite a nice shape there. But if you wanted to make it wider, or I like that bit sticking out on its own just there. It's quite cool. You can obviously just, this is something you can just keep adding to. Just keep building. Yeah, every time when you get an, an, Amazon, an Amazon delivery. Or a box, it doesn't have to be Amazon. Just <gasps> just that thickness. That not painted. Oh no, I haven't painted the bottom of it. You're what? right, well spotted. What? There's a piece there that I've only painted the top <gasps> oh, of. Oh no! Oh no! Okay then, so this was a bit of sculpture. That's really lovely. We've done sculpture now. We have done some collage. We've done drawing, but what I'd like us to do next week is to do some painting. So I am thinking 
I'm pining for the seaside. I love the seaside. It's my favorite place to go in the caravan, but um, we won't be going there this summer. So um, I'm going to imagine the beach, so my favorite place. And I thought we would draw some crabs. So next week, gonna do a draw along. So if you have some Sharpies, if you have some crayons, have some watercolors, we will draw this fantastic crab on the seashore and we will do it step by step together. So I hope you look forward to doing the crab. I hope you've enjoyed doing your sculptures. We have enjoyed doing our sculptures, haven't we children? Yes. We've yes. got Edwards and Alana's. And again, you don't need to paint them. You can just leave them like cardboard, mine. it's absolutely fine. I mean, maybe you might have some spray paint. You could perhaps spray paint oh, it. Oh, that'd that, be cool. That would be really awesome, wouldn't it? I have got some spray paints in the garage, but I'm not. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, but I'm not really like walking around blue. at the moment, am I? Orange and blue, spray tips. Yeah, we have when we spray painted your bike. Okay, well, until next time, then stay safe, take care, bye, bye, bye.